Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the world map, which is very clearly being dominated by two major forces. In the north, we have the benevolent, kind, and loving Lathrixian Raiders, and in the south, we have the Green Empire, which is all I'm going to call them. And today, we are finally going to start attacking the South, spreading our influence absolutely everywhere as soon as I take out Dingleton. Now, I'm not sure if I took this out in the previous video, but apparently I didn't save if I did. Either way, that's the final holding of the Grey Empire, and then they are completely nullified, at least. Yep, at least other than these tanks just over here. But today, we are going to be focusing on building yet another new craft. We already have the storm in all of its derpy glory. I can't look at that face without laughing a little bit. So I think it needs a friend. So today, we're going back to basics with one of my all-time favourite weapons. We are going to be using the Grape Shot Cannon. Now, the Grape Shot Cannon is remarkably powerful. We used it on the Zealot in the previous season with only a few of them, and it could very easily tear through even heavy armor if you're close enough. And so, I kind of want to replicate that kind of idea, but with a few more guns. So, I want quite a few more Grape Shot Cannons. This way, we should be able to do loads of damage. Now, in the previous season, we did have the bonus to cannon accuracy. And although it doesn't sound like that would really help too much, since this is a close range weapon anyway, it's going to be inaccurate at long range, so you're likely to be right up against the enemy to fire it, it did actually help quite a lot when the craft was moving. And without that, it is going to be a little bit weaker, but I'm hoping not by too much. What I'm thinking is, we're going to use the Grape Shot Cannon in addition to at least one or two of the deck guns. This way we should have a nice spread in terms of long range and short range, without it really costing too much. Now the deck gun is a fair bit more expensive- no, it's only one more expensive than the regular cannon, so ignore that but it does seem to be a fair bit more powerful, and now watch me be corrected again. So piercing damage 40, reload 3, piercing damage 30, but only reload 2. So yes, that is indeed more powerful. Yes, because over 6 seconds, this will shoot 3 times, doing 90 damage, this will only shoot twice, doing 80, so it's a little bit more powerful. Honestly, I thought the deck gun was a little bit stronger than that. Why would you use this over this? Well, the weight is lower, but so is the HP. The firing arc is higher, which of course is good. The maximum range is less, but this can fire at planes and troops. Oh, okay. Clip size, two rounds. This one doesn't have a clip size. Okay, so it does have some bonuses then. I don't know if I want to use it as much as I originally did. Like... A minute into the video, already doubting myself. That's a good start. The deck gun also uses a little bit more in terms of crew. I really do feel like this is more useful on a ground craft, because it does aim up so much better. So, maybe we won't use that, maybe we'll just use a regular cannon, I'm not too sure. But essentially, what I'm trying to build is a slightly larger version of the Zealot. And we are going to be using the shell armor, and we are going to be using a small keel. So let's just continue then, and hopefully... This will turn out okay. Maybe I will use a regular cannon somewhere. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. And let's just put down a single fire extinguisher there. And then, how are we going to get lift? I'm thinking either the, the pressurized tanks or just the regular chambers. I don't particularly want to use balloons on this thing. But balloons would just fit so easily into this design. Lathric screams into the void. No, you've used balloons enough already. I mean, it ain't exactly pretty, but that's going to be incredibly quick. 204 kilometers per hour. Service ceiling is okay. Medium-ish armor, because it is using the shell armor, which is contributing a lot to the cost. And a decent command time. And, of course, four Grape Shot Cannons, which is very pleasant, and certainly enough ammo to keep those going for quite some time. Is that good enough, is the question. I also kind of want to bring this down one. 
So we could sacrifice the large sail. This means we are much higher up in the air because the large sail is sadly very heavy for its size. Yeah, I think that would be best. Remove the large sail, just fill this in with something else. We could actually shrink this whole thing down a little bit by doing that. Then that way... It should be a bit more efficient. It's essentially just a faster, higher service ceiling version of the Zealot. Incredibly bland looking though, but I can't see a way to make it look better without kind of increasing the size in ways I don't particularly want to. So right now it has a service ceiling of 239, which is certainly enough, and it's still almost 200 kilometers per hour, probably making it one of our faster units. And four of those is certainly enough to do a lot of damage to pretty much anything. It also has a command every two seconds, making it incredibly responsive. So it's fast, it has a decent amount of offensive capability, its armor is medium to light, and it's just overall good for its purpose. A bit expensive what it does though. Also, I have to say, <laughs> I have to say, with this broken up background, doing the derpy eyes looks less derpy and just a little bit more... Well, it looks like he's been taking something he shouldn't have, really. Dude. Grape shot cannons. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, we. <we're laughs> oh, God, my sense of humor is so stupid. Why do people watch me? I have no bloody idea. Anyway, I keep looking at it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Sure, it's a box, but you know what? It's a box that's going to work just fine. I can't see how I can make this prettier whilst not sacrificing something. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We could, add, add, we could very quickly add a repair bay by moving this over there. <laughs> <laughs> Even my stammer came back then slightly like, Latherix, are you okay? Are you okay, but I think you need some help. Now, could even add a Gatling gun down here. What's with add and causing me to stammer anyway? Could at least give it some shape on the front. It would be nice as well, since these are very good at knocking out armor, so that would be really good as well. To capitalize on that. Is it worth it though? Yeah, I would like that actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and add a corridor then. And I'm going to quickly go into the test mode just to make sure that, that service ceiling is okay. Oh, by adding this though, we are changing our command to every three seconds because we are increasing the size of the ship and things we need to use. And I don't particularly want to add another bridge. Although, adding another bridge might be nice, because right now we only have one, which means as soon as that's gone, we, we have absolutely no control. So we could perhaps put a cockpit down instead. Darn, that's still only every three seconds. I was hoping that might just about tip the balance. What if we had two? Then our crew is spread really thinly. Okay, let's test it like this. And we'll see how it does, and maybe we'll keep it as it is. Maybe. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Most of the enemies, even if they can go above this hitbox after the fight starts, they very rarely use it. Let's go ahead and do that. And then on the other side, let's add something interesting, shall we? Here we are. One of the ships we've been encountering quite a lot. How expensive is this? This is... a. No, that is actually our unit. I was about to say, that is really close to the cost. Well, I could just check here. Okay, so the enemy is more expensive. So all I want to do is get behind it as soon as possible. Go on, aim to fire for a second. Now, the enemy cannot get commands anywhere near as fast as we can, so we should take full advantage of that. The Gatling gun aimed firing is a very weird sound. Such a steady shot. Oh, just completely knocked off the front there. 
Let's see how well we take damage. We can obviously get behind it now and just win, but let's just see this. Oh, well, we're about to lose altitude. Whee! But we're still floating because of our shell armor. So there. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> That's our own recoil. Well, it won. And that's the important thing. Though I do think that shell armor is a little bit weak. Uh, I, I'm very tempted to lose a, bit, a little bit of altitude and swap the shell armor for regular steel armor, at least on some of the important areas. So the ammo store and the lifty medoodle. The lifting medoodle is very important to fix. Okay, similar test. Now with the heavier armor. This time I am going to try and stay in front of the enemy basically the entire time. Hello. Please shoot me. I wish to test damage resistance. We got much luckier with the hits this time as well. Yep, that very quickly chunked out the enemy. We lost a little bit of armor, but not all that much. As you can see, it's still just about hanging in there. Not too sure about the Gatling gun. Might just remove that. Ram it anyway! Smart. Okay, yep, seems to work just fine. Now, with the heavier armor, it is a little bit more expensive, and it is a little bit lower down in the air, but I think it will definitely be worth it, especially since we have so many vulnerable sections all in the same area, which isn't exactly pleasant. Well, the green are apparently attacking us first. Aren't they just lovely? Aimed fire, please. Oh, I was wondering why you're firing so low. I don't like you guys. Just thought I'd mention. Yeah, they are rapidly expanding over there, which is really annoying. Okay, do we have any of these which are not currently being used? Uh, a couple of medium shipyards not currently active. Oh, good, a huge shipyard. Perfect. Let's build a couple of the Raiders, which is what I've called them. A pretty basic name, but it honestly fits what they are. That's... <laughs> that bloody mouth. Oh, that's... Not even funny, Lathric. Stop. <laughs> oh, I'm going to see that every time I build on these darn things, aren't I? Yep, of course I am. I'm going to call you the repulsive. <laughs> because why not? Because why not? Okay, uh, Storm, could you go and just poke around down here a little bit? I've already sent some ships before, didn't I? Yes, I did. Hopefully, these and the Riders, which are much faster than you, will fulfill that role. You're going over there to take over that. Fantastic. Uh, about to lose something there. That's fine. The wolf, which is kind of rubbish, uh, could just send it over here to distract them. Yeah, because I'll most likely move back to defend. Move back to defend. Move back to de Move. Move back to You're not listening to me! Well, the wolf's gonna die. Don't really care, though. Oh. Bother. Hi there! Ramming! Okay, slow down. Yep, well, I can't move now because this thing doesn't get commands particularly quickly. It kind of worked. Did a little bit of damage. Ah, Wolfie! No! Oh. Well. Should just fled, really, but again, I don't really care about the wolf survival, as horrible as that is. It was a cost to the Empire, and shall be purged. Yay! Winning! That was an annoying time for you to build that, wasn't it? Um, do you have any storms ready? The storm might be able to just beat that, honestly, especially with their dependency. Oh, now you go back to defend, don't you? Look how clever you are. I say that sarcastically. Though I am British after things I say, I say sarcastically, to be fair. Did not mean to do that. But it doesn't really matter. Boarding! Well,
Welcome to the side of the Legion. Ooh, where are you going? Are you going to try and defend? Oh, you are, you naughty, naughty fella. Not too bad. Oh. Yeah, I forgot we sent so many riders over here. Okay, you go over there, please. Derp dart away. Still our most efficient design by a long shot. Dink. And ride, ride, ride. <laughs> the derp dart still gets stuff done. It really does. Just keep on distracting them down here. Hopefully that'll force them into a retreat, which will be very, very beneficial for us. And in the meantime, I'm going to build more raiders, because I really do feel like they will do a load of work. Similar to the storm, but probably better, purely because I really do have that much hope in uh, it's a small... It's a small shipyard, but you may as well have all the shipyards running. There's the thing. I would rather have the small shipyard running than having a huge queue in some of the larger ones. Hello, hello. That's a lighthouse. Oil rig. Oil house. Apparently surrendered anyway, so I mean... Whatevs. Okay, ooh. You might win. And you might lose. Aims fire till you get there. Yes! Outside view, please. Oh no, the mouth's gone! Yeah, Gatling guns are pretty good, aren't they? Hi there. Hi there, friend buddy Chumpel. You're using bullets, therefore you like bullets, therefore here are some bullets of friendship. I don't know why, but now that is the voice of this poor thing. Friendship! Okay, and that is the Grey Legion pretty much done for. Let's do the same to this area, even though honestly they haven't really done much against us. Uh, we are a vengeful people, apparently. Uh, Storm, you go and invade there. Take that back. Uh, Derp Dart Jr., you go and do the usual. The enemy are so clumped up, it does make them a little bit weak to this kind of attack. And that's kind of our... Well, that's how we've worked this whole time. Lots of little attacks. Yes, a raider's finished! Oh, God, that face! A raider is finished! Yay! Yay! Now, that should be able to move really quickly. So, I'm going to invade there. And honestly, it's going to be... I was going to say, like a spy, but I actually have a spy. Ooh. Um, Raider, you're not going there anymore. You're going elsewhere. Thank you. Maybe you should go and take some of these areas back. Uh, no. Go and try and take Speltford. Yeah, look how fast that thing moves. In comparison to the storm, that is very, very quick. Yep, yeah, that... Mm. Uh, no, bl Blight, let, let go of your friend. Thank you. We won anyway. Clearly, the enemy saw us just ram into that island and thought to themselves, the madmen, they're destroying even the islands themselves, and thus gave up. That was intentional. And uh, clearly, my sophisticated mental warfare is working. So take that. Boop. <laughs> Still love the derp dart though. Nothing beats the derp dart. The derp dart is love. Derp dart is life. And so we continue to board everything. And this is why I wanted to move a little bit away from boarding because it's the same thing we've seen a lot of times and it feels a bit, um, boop. Very powerful. Oh, the balloon. Defeat? Really? Oh. No, but look. We're shooting their leader as we speak. So what happened? This gets destroyed and then our unit in there goes, well, our plane's gone. Well, uh, may as well surrender. So how are you guys doing in green? Nothing beats the derp dart. Instantly loses the derp dart. Oh, look at me. I was confident for once. Instantly, instantly punished. The second I'm confident about anything. Uh, story of my life. Kind of was the story of my life, honestly. Especially in university. Every time I feel like I was doing badly in something, I did well. In fact, I once got a a reward, <laughs> a um, an award rather, for something I thought I completely failed at, but apparently did the best they've ever seen, which is weird. But then other times I thought I'd done fantastically, and then see me after class kind of thing because it was just utterly and completely wrong. 
Confidence is a slow and insidious killer. Raider! You. Build. Also saying award. Apparently now is difficult for me. Things are going well. Uh, where is the Raider which is going down there? Okay. We need to see at least a couple of battles with the Raider, since that's probably in the um, title. Yes, there we go. Extra ammo storage. Glorious. Uh, do we want anything else? Aerial torpedoes would be cool, but kind of against the theme, in my honest opinion. Um, I would say for now, just leave research. Just get the money. Just keep, yeah, 100% money. You're a bit... Not... In a good position there, lad. Wee. Just ignore the thing attached to you via string. I'm sure it's no problem whatsoever. And now you're ours. See? No problem whatsoever. Where are their main forces? What are they doing? Just kind of sitting there. You know you are on the hardest difficulty, right? Go on, fight back. Cause us some delicious pain. Why well, you're burning things down? That's just rude. That's not pain. That's just annoyance. Doopy doopy doo. These are actually a bit hard to capture. It seems to take a while, but still. Are you the rider? No, you're not. I thought you were for a second there. I got really happy. Well, that's a different style. My god, that's a lot of rockets. Well, there's rockets on both sides. Uh, this might be how we lose one of these. Go, raiders, go! No, what he counts last, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, darn it. Meanwhile, in Dingleton, Mark Three. Gatling gunfight! That could have gone better. Doop -ba -doop. There we are. Friendship! Okay, go and spread some friendship over there. Really should go to the other side, shouldn't we? Ow! Lightning! Lightning isn't friendship! For everyone. Duff, man! Whoa. There we are. Victory and gentle takeover. You're now fleeing, so let's go to the place you're fleeing to. Can a raider please get to the destination already? Ooh, you've took over that. You know what? I'll leave you alone. Well done, lad. Well done for taking back what was rightfully yours. Um, any raiders ready yet? Could start attacking some of these creatures. They're kind of stacking up. Sort of everywhere. Which is a little bit annoying, honestly. Building more riders, but look at the difference in speed there between the storm and the rider. Why did I send the rider against this? Oh, that's so dumb. Um, am I going to fight this anyway? No. Let's not. Let's not. Just flee and move on. Okay, that seems pretty easy. Both sides are as strong as each other, so just run straight there. Whee! Where's the ammo? Right behind you. Maybe I should have some more crew members. Well, that was pretty quick. As soon as there was, like, one good hit. I'm still a firm believer in the Gatling. In the... Grape Shot Cannons. There's a spy active over here. We could destroy one of these and then see if how much damage we could do. Well, either way, I'm going to go ahead and destroy one just because I'm a nuisance like that. You know what? Maybe you can take that. Maybe. We are fighting here against the Western Alliance. Which is the tiny little shipyard in the corner. Aimed fire with Gatling guns actually seems really effective. Then you get close range and then just rapid fire Gatling guns for the sake of it. Ow. Whoa, lightning. 
As soon as the armor's tore off, that's when the Gatling guns really shine. And that is pretty much... Yep, that is every shipyard in this area. Therefore, well, it's now completely under our control. So you can continue to do what you are doing. Hello, Dingleton. Again. Welcome back to our control, Dingleton. The other, other Dingleton. Okay, now we should be able to win this. Oh, did not mean to do that. Thankfully, of course, we can control this. Okay, never mind. You are going to move safely. That's good. Okay, we are in the fog. Let's do aimed fire. Look at the recoil on this thing. I really do miss the cannon accuracy. But yeah, it's still very, very strong. A single rider just doing this very easily. I don't think it's as strong as the Storm, but it is cheaper than the Storm, it has less maintenance than the Storm, and it is much faster than the Storm. But one but one V1, yeah, this is definitely not as powerful as Wait for it. The Derp Dart. Still though, this has been a massively successful episode so far. Uh, yeah, let's take a risk. Maybe rapid fire isn't worth it since we don't have the crew to keep up with the ammo. But it is so much more fun. Just hit that little bit there. A little bit there we go. Ah, the joy of anything combat related, honestly. Although the Grape Shot Cannons aren't that fantastic versus armor, because all their damage is located in one section, if you're close enough that, well, that actually happens, so all the shots do hit one piece, you normally do chunk off the entire armor section. Which is why I think it's so good, it just makes little vulnerable holes in the enemy everywhere. Oh, oh yeah, that's us taking the rest of- well, gee, I wonder what I'm going to do here. Do you want us to give up? I'll give you a few seconds to give up. No? Okay. The light is making it hard to aim at their corpses. Said the crew member, laughing, slowly descending into madness. A storm, going to be annoying to those guys, keep them occupied, although apparently they're not really caring about anything at the moment. Uh, other storm, go down here. The repulsive, you can go down here as well. You can help out with that when you're done. Okay, good, all the raiders are now finished. In that case, send the invaders down here as well. Whoa! Yay, I have an ornament. Well done. And a friend. That is awesome. Derpy a sin, but awesome. Um, so you're gonna die. But do I flee? The Lathrixian Raiders do not flee. Though definitely accurate fire, it is night time. Just try and take out his balloons. Make his balloons go. That was meant to be a loud popping noise, but it just came out as a very quiet... Well, I can't do that louder, apparently. I have learned of a shortcoming today. Yay! We killed one! I am a stick! Still managed to do some critical damage to one of them, though, despite the fact we were massively outnumbered, so I am fine with that. Oh, that's where that fight was. Of course it was more heavily defended then. Okay, you go there. There's not much more we really need to do. I think our victory is pretty much in the bag. So next... Okay, so I am going to call the episode here because next episode will be the final push. We'll make a big deal about it. Maybe one more creation. Maybe a flagship. Ooh. 
yeah, definitely a flagship for the Raiders. That is how we need to end the season. And honestly, I am really just out of time right now. So I would ask you then in the comments, in the next season, what would you like to see? A modded season or a ground-only campaign? Because the ground vehicles are definitely weaker than airships. They have a lot more negatives about them. They're harder to build efficiently. Honestly, I don't put much stock in ground vehicles. But hopefully, if I do a ground campaign, I will change my mind about this. Or should I do a modded campaign, in which case I'll have new weapons and new stuff to play with, and just go with that with a hard difficulty. Maybe not the highest difficulty because there's new stuff to play with, or maybe the highest difficulty. I don't know. You tell me what you want to see. I'm a panderer to the masses. So with that, if you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Airships Conquer the Skies is a series you wish to see continued in the future. The Riders are doing fantastically today. We have yet another new ship, and I'm in a good mood after all that carnage. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye.